Hi, and welcome to Screen Record with Flipgrid. My name is Diana Benner, and I am one of the directors of professional development at TCA. I have my contact information there for you. If you ever need to reach out to me, you can do so via email at dbenner at tca.org or via Twitter, I am at dibenn. All right, so today, if you weren't aware, Flipgrid recently announced that you can now screen record all within Flipgrid. So I'm gonna take you through the steps for how you can do that. And then we are going to look at how you can use Flipgrid for remote learning. So I have the resources for this mini session at ly.tca.org slash screen flip. So again, the resources are at ly.tca.org slash screen flip. So I'm going to go ahead and jump out to that website. So hopefully you are aware of Flipgrid and you've used it before. Uh, if you haven't, I do have a link there to their website. Uh, but basically it is a fantastic resource to use for video discussions. Uh, it does allow you to create grids. Uh, you can ask your students questions and students can post video responses. But the thing I do wanna show you now is how you can actually record your screen while you are using Flipgrid or even your students could record their screen as well uh, using Flipgrid. So it works either way. All right, so I am going to go ahead and jump out to Flipgrid and I am going to log in to my Flipgrid account and I am going to add a new grid. So I'm just gonna call this screen record demo for right now. And I'm just going to make that public and I'll leave that URL there. And I'm not going to add any passwords or anything. Okay, so it says that my grid is now ready. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my grid and I am going to add a new topic. So let's say that I am doing a lesson about places around the world. I'm gonna title that places around the world. I'll set this for, you see you now have the option of 10 minutes as well. I'm gonna go ahead and set this for five minutes and I'm just gonna put show me a place that you found okay and I am going to go ahead and create my topic and my topic is ready so I'm going to copy that code Come over here and I see that this is now ready. Okay, so my uh, grid and my topic are ready for my students to add or record a response or even I could record a response as well. So let's say that I have my lesson here and this was one of the lessons uh, that I showcased in uh, using Google Tools for Remote Learning um, Part 2. This was a lesson created by Chris Clementi about how to use uh, Google Street View uh, to find places around the world. Okay, so I'm just going to do a quick screen recording 
of my lesson here so that you can see how to do it. So I'm going to click on the plus and I'm going to go ahead and log in with my Google account. Okay, so I am here in my Google account and you can see that it is now ready for me to record. So if I want to do a screen recording, I just come down here to the three dots where it says video options. And then I click on screen recording and it wants to capture my screen. Okay, so then all I do is I click start screen recording. It wants to know, do I want to record my entire screen just the window I'm in or just my Chrome tab. So I'm going to do my entire screen and I'm going to click share. It gives me a countdown and it is now capturing my screen. So I'm going to come over here to my lesson and I'm going to show my students how they can complete this particular lesson. So I'm going to tell them, come out here to the Google Street Maps and let's do a search for a place. And I'm actually going to search for uh, Fort Myers, Florida. And... Actually, let me do the Southwest Eagle, Florida cam in Fort Myers and see if it finds it. There we go. Okay, and so it does show uh, the Southwest Florida Eagle cam right here. Okay, so you can see that I do have that uh, right here and I actually want a street view of this, so I'm going to come out here and let me zoom in just a little bit and grab my person here and get my street view. So then you find your street view and you try to find the Eagle Cam. Okay, so that is how you get to a street view. So you can see it's recording my screen. I just showed my students how to use uh, the street view on Google Maps. I could then go back to my lesson and show them how to complete uh, this particular lesson. But I'm gonna go ahead and stop sharing. Check out down. And it is now capturing my screen. And you can see that Flipgrid immediately starts to play my screencast. So you can see here it goes through. Here is my screencast. If I like it, I can go next. And it wants a selfie to submit it. And I will just grab a sticker, place that there, and then I can continue on. But you can see that it has now recorded my screencast. I go next, it wants a name, and I submit my video. Okay, and so my screencast is now complete. So either now my students could watch it or if I wanted my students to actually go and do a screen recording of a place that they found on Google Street View uh, for using Google Maps, they could do a screen recording of that as well and do the exact same thing that you just the did. Countdown. So over here and play it. And it is now and I won't play it all, but it you can see how it did the screen recording. So very, very simple uh, to use the screen recording feature in Flipgrid. And I've got the instructions there for you. 
uh, if you need those again. And I've got, um, if you have any problems with recording permissions, I have how you can enable those both on a Mac and a window and on a Windows machine. Okay, along with another short little video there. All right, so if you're looking for uh, some more ideas about how you can use Flipgrid with remote uh, learning, uh, Flipgrid has made a PDF, uh, which is what you're seeing here. Uh, and you can download this P PDF, but it has different ways that you can use Flipgrid to engage students and families uh, with your remote lessons. So whether it's giving your pre-K or middle school students daily learning reflections, uh, they could do some book talks, um, project demonstrations, uh, and your high school students could maybe do a video journal, uh, do some presentations, peer reviews, debates. So uh, lots of different things there. And of course, uh, there's a whole section here for university as well as how to uh, engage the family. So that is a PDF on the Flipgrid website that you can download and it does come in uh, multiple languages uh, if you need that um, translated. So that is Flipgrid. So I do wanna encourage you that if you are looking for any additional resources to go out to blog.tca.org. If you go to that website, uh, which is our blog, and do a search for remote teaching and remote learning, you'll find a lot more resources that you can use. I'd like to thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope you can take advantage of doing some screen recording or your students can take advantage of it all while using Flipgrid. Thank you.